greetings and welcome to this brand new video so this is a full guide on how to use semaphorein on linux so semaphorein is a completely free tool and it is also open source you can use this to downgrade your a11 and lower devices from ios 7 to ios 12 and beyond also and we are at its official github page as you can see it right here and no jailbreak no blobs are required to use this and for this video i have this iphone 6 on ios 12.5.7 and i will downgrade it to ios 10.3.3 and also jailbreak it first of all to use this you will have to install some dependencies to make it work so simply open a new terminal and then type here sudo space apt install git space curl and hyphen y press enter simply type in your password for your linux press enter and these two will automatically be installed now guys on the same github page you can see that you just have to run this command to clone semaphorein simply copy it from here i prefer going to downloads then opening a new terminal here and then pasting it here press enter and wait for it to clone all right so once the cloning process finishes you will be here now to downgrade your device what you will do is type sudo dot slash semaphorein dot sh and then space and type the version you want to downgrade to then hyphen hyphen restore and when you want to boot your downgraded ios version you will type sudo dot slash semaphorein dot sh and the version you downgraded to previously and then hyphen hyphen boot one more thing guys that if your device is not activating after you downgraded it you can use this flag hyphen hyphen force hyphen activation together with hyphen hyphen restore flag when you downgrade your device so you can see i am at the semaphorein main directory which we have cloned previously so i will type sudo space semaphorein dot sh and i want to downgrade to 10.3.3 hyphen hyphen restore also at this point make sure that your device is connected to usb and then press enter then type in your linux password and it will start downloading some files now here if it prompts you to install some more packages please type y and press enter all right guys at this point your device will go into recovery mode if it does not go by itself you can kick it into recovery mode by pressing and holding the buttons according to your, your device now simply press enter and please get it into dfu mode by simply following the instructions on screen all right you can see that my device entered dfu and these are the details now please type the ios version here which is your main ios version all right so mine is 12.5.7 i will type it here and press enter and now we will wait for the process to proceed and complete this can take a long time so i will pause the video here and i will resume it when we see any new prompt also one thing i forgot to mention is make sure that you have at least 20 gb of free space on linux also don't use any live usb please install linux and it should work so ubuntu 22.04 or higher should work with this now guys please wait here while a large file is being downloaded so it is the ipsw for the version you want to downgrade to all right guys so the large file has been downloaded and then it will be extracted and the process should now go on
now at this point your device was already in dfu mode what you will do is simply unplug your cable and then replug it and then type here yes and press enter now press enter again you will have to do this several times during this process you can see that a ram disk will now be booted up on your device all right once the ssh ram disk is fully booted you will simply press enter and now i will pause the video here because this process is lengthy and i will resume it once we have a prompt which requires attention now at this point your device will go into normal mode then simply press enter and get ready to get it into dfu mode again you will simply have to follow the instructions on screen to get it into dfu all right as you can see it is now in dfu simply unplug the cable and plug it in again then type yes here then press enter press enter again a ram disk will again be booted once the ram disk is fully booted you will have to simply press enter also if you see that it shows that it failed to delete the fs don't worry it will eventually work now i will pause the video here because this can take some time and i will resume it once we have a prompt which requires attention all right guys now again please get your device into dfu mode your device will start in normal mode press enter and get it into dfu mode again all right now simply unplug it and replug it and then type here yes and press enter and enter again and wait for the process to finish all right guys finally my device has been downgraded to ios 10.3.3 now i will see a bar a progress bar beneath the apple logo and then from there we will get our device into dfu mode again so that we can get to the home screen we will go to the dfu mode once we see our device on the setup screen all right so my device has started and it is on the setup screen now i will simply press enter here and get it into dfu mode again right now i will simply unplug and replug the cable and then type here yes press enter press enter again again at this point a ram disk will be booted up and once it is booted up fully you will simply press enter wait for it to proceed and finish now simply unplug the cable and plug it again press enter press enter again all right and the process should continue and it will now boot your device into your downgraded ios version and you can see the process is now complete you will see done here and your device should now boot into your downgraded ios version now on your device simply set it up and get to the home screen all right so guys you can see my device here i have set it up and i want to show you the version first so yes we downgraded it to ios 10.3.3 as you can see it right here it is the same phone and yes it was a dual boot because we downgraded to ios 10 so if you reboot your device you will go to your main ios version and then you can use the hyphen hyphen boot command to boot it back to your downgraded ios version also you can jailbreak it you will get an app according to the version you downgraded to so i got meridian jailbreak and i will simply hit go and my device should now be jailbroken on this version all right and now i will respray all right so if you see this prompt don't worry simply hit cancel and then press home and you can see i am jailbroken i got zebra all right so accept and you can see the version 10.3.3 successfully jailbroken without any problem here also please note that you will be able to connect to a wi-fi which is open if it is password protected you will simply see an incorrect password error on your downgraded ios version also guys to fix the deep sleep bug which renders your device to 
get a black screen once you lock it for a long time you can simply uh, install this repo go to sources and simply add this repo to your device in zebra or cedia and then simply install this tweak called fiona you will simply search for it after adding the source and install fiona all right confirm and you are now good to go simply then restart springboard and now the deep sleep bug should now be fixed also in the end i will show you that as it is a dual boot what happens if you reboot your device so i will turn it off you can see that after rebooting my device i am back at my main ios version you can see the space so it is a dual boot now if i want to go back to my dual booted ios version what i will do is go to the semaphorians main directory so i will make it easy for you so go to the main semaphorian directory and then open a new terminal here then simply type here sudo space dot slash semaphorian dot sh then type the version you downloaded to hyphen hyphen boot press enter type in the password for your linux and then your device should go into recovery mode if it doesn't go please kick it manually to recovery mode then press enter and get it to dfu now once in dfu simply type the version of your main ios so it is 12.5.7 press enter press enter again enter again so now your device should boot you will see that shutdown complete and your device should now be booting your downgraded ios version and you can see it right here i am back at my downgraded ios version and as you can see everything should work without any problem that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself